Hallelujah. God is risen. Jesus is risen. Hallelujah. May we all stand and celebrate Jesus in this morning. God sent his son. He called him Jesus. He
open the floodgates. Father, you know pandas and cause your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgates. Father, you know pandas and cause your
Halleluja. 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 Are you ready to dance more? Are you sure? <laughs> Halleluja. Je sou una chuela calva, oui. Caliba, cala de bizarruna.
Now tell your neighbor why. Because he died on the cross. And today he has risen. Therefore I have my freedom. Somebody shout hallelujah. Free to dance and sing, free to lift my hands and worship, Lord, I'm free. Yes, I am. Lord, I'm free. Woo! I'm free to dance and sing, free to lift my hands and worship, Lord, I'm free. I said, Lord, I'm free. They are free to dance. Free to dance and sing, free to lift my hands and worship, Lord, I'm free. Lord, I'm free. Lord, I'm Lord, I'm free. 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 Lord, I'm free.
so good. I want to hear it one more time. Praise the Lord. I am free. Hallelujah. Now I want you to give a round of applause to the one who has made you free. The resurrected Christ. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. This is the story of our lives. To ex, you know, just to exhibit this life. Because my Bible tells me that in the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in you. It shall quicken your mortal body. Now let's see a manifestation of that spirit this morning. Come on. Let's see, let's let's see some life in the house of God. You have the spirit of Christ. The resurrected Christ living on the inside Why? of you. Come on, come on, come on. The heavens need to hear. The devil needs to hear. The yeah. wizards need to hear. The dead gods don't need to hear because they can't hear. But every flying devil needs to hear that your God is alive. One more time, give it up for a resurrected Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Family of God, what a great time to be in the house of God. But more than that, on the altar of Alleluia Ministries International, a sacred place. This is a living altar. That's the altar that you have come to. You have come to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. I want you to just acknowledge your neighbor by a round of applause. They've made it to the altar. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Family of God, I welcome you in the mighty name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. What are we celebrating today, family of God? In our celebration service, we are celebrating the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is here today, family of God. Our God is not dead. Our God is not dead, He is alive and He is well. Put your hands together for the only living Savior of the world. He thought of you when He was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He thinks of you now. You are His main priority. Family of God, the tomb is empty. You have to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Pastor Rodney, isn't it a beautiful culmination to the end of our Easter conference? Our man of God is coming with the sound of the shofar. Daddy is coming! Your sound of victory. Hallelujah, you're leaving your burdens at this altar, family of God. Now put your hands together for the prophet of the nations. Our father, our symbol of authority. He's coming with the shofar, family of God. He's Woo! our only father. Man of God, I love you and I honor you. It is a pleasure and it is an honor that you call me your child, that you call me your daughter. You put your name there. I've got the mic today, so you put your name there. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 That's our Father. Prophet Elf, look up. Jesus. Put your hands together for our Father. Hallelujah. Family of God, my Bible tells me that on that morning, which is represented today, the first one to go, the first ones to go to the tomb were two ladies. Yes. Two ladies. Am I listening to a daughter of Bishop Celeste Lucal? Our mother has the same prophetic insight. She leads the same, she loves the same, and the things that that are important to her are the things of the spirit. To, if Mummy Celeste was alive at that time, she'd be the first one going to the tomb, yes. bringing the news to us men. Hallelujah. Praise God for your mother. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to greet all of you in the auditorium like we've done. So there's such a, a spirit of praise in the house. And I believe, Bishop Jackie, Dad brought it in last night. He led praise and worship during the ministry. Amen. We jumped and we celebrated God. And today will be no different. We praise God for our spiritual parents. Hallelujah. You may take your seats. I want to greet all of those of you, sons and daughters and first time viewers connected to this altar. This is an Easter conference that will change your life in the name of Jesus. And our family, we have not forgotten that amongst us, especially in an Easter conference, we have first time visitors, families that have chosen to come to the altar of Alleluia Ministries International. If you are here for the first time, we'd love for you to stand so we can appreciate you and we can acknowledge you. Please, if you are here for the first time, would you stand all over the auditorium? Hallelujah, we see a flag that's being waved from the UK this morning. International we are. May the Lord bless you and please make this your home. We love you. Hallelujah. Well, it is time for the announcements and be blessed. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice where the man of God goes deeper into the word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Alf Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Alf Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, Channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. 
And lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home cells held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home cell, please either call the office or go to the home cell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Well, the time has come again. Time for us to be equipped by God. Time to learn. Time to be able to strive as the Lord empowers us with His Word. Join me for the Prophetic Training School, Friday, the 5th of the 5th, 2023, to Saturday, the 6th. It shall be a moment of glory and power. You need to be trained in what is the greatest secret ever told. What is to be decoded in the scriptures. I'm believing God that will change you, transform you. I'm believing God for change and transformation to come your way. Through his word, we stand. Through his word, we strive. Through his word, we make the impact that the Lord has designed in heaven to happen through us in this generation. Go to www.alleluiaministries.com. Register now. You need to register. Make sure that you empower yourself by taking this step. Make this effort. I promise you, your life will never be the same again. Until then, stay strong. Shalom. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005. Swift code, NEDSZAJJ. Use your name and surname as reference, or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Alleluia! Alleluia! Glory to Jesus! Amen! Amen, amen. Now that was to welcome me, and I appreciate and I receive the honor in the name of Jesus. But can we just give the resurrected Christ a round of applause, beloved? Glory the to Jesus! Is empty. Jesus. And all we say is victory, victory, victory.
victory. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, this morning, early hours in the morning, I woke up and I started dancing in the presence of God. Like David danced, I danced. Not because of anything, but the mere fact that the tomb is empty. Jesus. So today, if you have come all broken, hurt, if you have carried or you are carrying a heavy burden, I want you to know that the tomb is empty. That is sufficient to bring the joy of the Holy Ghost, the joy of Christ. Oh, you're watching me and you are in your house, probably in a hospital bed. I'm here to say to you today, all over the world, that Jesus Christ has risen. Hallelujah. And he is, he is the reason for the season. Thank you. God bless you. I'm just uh, joyful to see all the bishops and every leader pastor in the house. But nobody beats my heart like our men of God. Hallelujah. He has. Yes, he does. Amen. 20 so years later and he just still beats my heart like the first day I saw him. And I intend to keep it like that. Hallelujah. Fresh, beautiful bishop. We will go to 50, 100 until Jesus returns. Hallelujah. And I honor him. I love him. And I thank God for him in my life. A man of God has one thing. He loves God. Hallelujah. And I have great respect for him for that fact. You may be seated. I just want to honor him again, and I just want to say, God bless you. Hallelujah. Many people speak, but take my word. This is the loudest I can give in the pulpit of AMI. Hallelujah. I just want to thank everyone that is uh, here serving God today. God bless you, Bishop Jay, Bishop, oh, Bishop Shepherd, and uh, Bishop Stefan. I just want to thank God for all of you. Hallelujah. Beloved, today is an exciting day. My spirit is bubbling. I've not been on the pulpit for a while. I've been uh, just sitting down. But I'm, hallelujah, I'm here and I'm here for you. It's an interesting morning and I just don't want to get overexcited besides the assignment and time appointed for me to just speak to you. I pray that in these few minutes, your spirit may be able to catch what the Holy Spirit is speaking through me. Hallelujah. And in this moment, I just want you to catch what the Holy God has to say just for the offering and just for a few minutes. If it takes me two minutes to speak to your soul or to your spirit, then my mission is accomplished because greater than me is coming and the time and, and uh, clock is ticking and we are all excited for what God will do. But before that, I want to speak to somebody's life and I want to say that Friday was good. Hallelujah. It was called Good Friday. Yesterday was an explosion of miracles. But today is the resurrection time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Bishop, Friday was good. It was powerful. Yesterday was an explosion of miracles. But today is resurrection. Ay, that revelation alone should make you bubble. That when a man of God comes in today, it will be completely a different reception because resurrection is taking place. The tomb is empty. Hallelujah. Beloved, uh, if you are here, you have not yet received your envelope. My altar, my sacrifice. Hallelujah. My altar, my altar. Here is my sacrifice. And you'd love to be part of the sacrifice and the move of God in this place, I want you just to raise your hand. There are pastors that are standing with envelopes to give. Now, I'm not receiving this uh, offering right now. Our man of God will come and receive it himself. But you want to be part of those that say, when the man of God comes, I also want to put on my altar my sacrifice. I want you just to lift up your hands and I want us to distribute the envelopes given and we will all put, I will put my sacrifice on the altar today. Hallelujah. I can only worship God once my sacrifice is complete. Amen. I've missed so many of you. I'm seeing so many faces. I love you. 
from the bottom of my heart as we are giving the envelopes. And you are, if you're online as well and you want to join and you are wondering, but what is mommy talking about? My altar, my altar, here is my sacrifice. You'll bring your sacrifice unto God and God will surely bless you. A call from the altar, a sacrifice brought to God in a moment such as this. Hallelujah. When the man of God comes, he will receive your sacrifice, and I, sh I know that God will bless you. Some of us are longing for an opportunity to give, longing to just stand on the altar of sacrifice. Hallelujah. My beloved, I want you to open your Bible. I feel they're still distributing the envelopes, so we'll not go too fast on that. But as it is, I want you to open the bi your Bible in the book of John. John will just go to the very beginning from where we have started life as Christians and the verse that has taken us through this journey. Hallelujah. John 3 verse 16. Did we all get the envelopes? We are all there. Amen. Online, if you want to be part of this offering, just uh, as well click and just know your envelope can be given to you prophetically with, through your offering. Have a point of contact. And God bless you. Just transfer into the church account and God will surely receive the sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, John 3 verse 16. I think that this is a biblical verse that is very well known. And uh, I believe that it is the verse for the season and for the moment right now. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God, now it's quite interesting, beloved, that this verse does not start with for Mama Celeste. I love you with all my heart, but it does not start with me. The Bible is very clear and it says for God. Now, the mere fact that this starts with God tells you that from the very beginning, God had you in mind. From the very beginning in the plans of God, God had you connected. The Bible says, for God, that is sufficient to tell you that you are going to be okay. That is sufficient to tell you that your prayers have already been answered from the very beginning. Now, the Bible says, does not say for your mother or for your father. Does not say for your brother, for your uncle, for your sister, for your family. But the Bible is very clear that this comes from the maker of heaven and earth. The one who created everything that we see and what we did not see. The God that sits with angels that bow down to him day and night. The one that is seated on the throne and all the 24 elders will take out their thrones and they bow down before him. So now Jesus Christ is trying to explain here to Nicodemus and he says, For God so loved the world. Now God did not love just anyone. He's not talking about the church or particu a particular group. But the Bible says, For God so, they had to use the word so, meaning that it, it could have said for God loved. No, the Bible says for God so loved the world. Now that is calculated words to tell the devil that we are beyond flesh. It ratifies everything in my life because beyond the flesh that I have, I have and I carry the so love of God. I'm not just loved, I'm so loved by God. That is sufficient to tell my husband that is rejecting me, well, I am so loved by God. Anybody that has uh, no given me any credit, I'm here to say, God loves you. And that settles it. That is sufficient. That is enough for me. That whatever comes above that is a bonus. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. Now, you cannot exclude love from giving. You cannot. It's a simple mathematics. One plus one is two. The formula is the same. What you do when you love, you give. If you love your children, you give. It's full stop. There's no two ways about it. Now, if God, who made heaven and earth, gives, I promise you, 
we can also give. It is within the nature of God to give. Now, as we are celebrating um, Easter, and if we do not miss or if we miss the point of His great love for us and what He has done on the cross of Calvary, on the resurrected day of the third day, we will not be able to understand the meaning of Easter. It will just be any ordinary Easter. It will be last year's Easter. You have the same results. You will celebrate, jump at church, but you will go home and you'll still feel the same. But the Bible says, for God so loved the world that He gave His only, His only Son, so that you and I may not die, that you and I may not perish, that your business may not die, that every idea you have may live, that everything that you are giving birth to may be able to resurrect in the name of Jesus. Hence, I say today from the pulpit of God that everything that you will do will not live because you say it, but because God loved you first. Because God stood for you. Because God is the reason why you and I are saying we have victory. Hallelujah. I want you to take out your offering, your love offering. Take it out and say, God, this offering I have today is a different offering. It is a love offering given to me by God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that whoever believes in Him shall not perish. You will not perish. Your business will not perish. Your family will not perish. Receive the Word of God. Everything you do will prosper. Why? Because God so loved you. Hallelujah. I want you to take out your offering and I want you to lift it up before God. And I want you just to speak to God and say, God, whatever you have placed in your heart today in this Easter, I agree with you that God will do it. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We thank you for our love offering today. We understand the magnitude of your love. Thank you for your grace. We give you glory. We give you honor, oh God. I pray for every business, Lord, for every family. Somebody crying unto you for help, Lord, in every area, health, finance, family, every single area, Lord. Today I pray, may your love carry us through and bring all the breakthrough necessary for us to be able to break, to go to the next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Beloved, you may be, give your offering, your tithes. You may just give it re remembering and knowing that God loves you. Thank you.
your hands together for Jesus. I said, somebody put your hands together for the King of glory. Somebody didn't catch me today. Put your hands together for the resurrected King today. He has risen. He has risen. He has risen. Somebody give God glory. Celebrate Him right to the back of the auditorium. Give God the praise. Give Him the glory. I can't hear you, AMI. The program is not going on until Jesus is exalted. Until Jesus is glorified. Somebody make a Holy Ghost noise from the earthly realm. He's ready to receive your praises. He's ready to receive all the honor in Jesus' name. Never wait for an encouragement to praise the Lord. You're missing your blessing. Tell somebody, I'm not missing my blessing. I will praise Him. I will not allow stones to praise Him. I want to honor my spiritual father. God bless you, men of God, for this humble opportunity. And thank you for leading us into this weekend with such grace, such great revelation and bringing us back to the cross. God bless you. Put your hands together for the apostle of the last days, for the general overseer of AMI, for the incomparable prophet, for the man of God who guards and protects this altar, the man of God who speaks a thing and it cometh to pass. Put your hands together for the prophet. Put your hands together for the prophet. Put your hands together for our mom. Wasn't it lovely to see her where she belongs? Put your hands together for Bishop Celeste. I can't wait. Today was the beginning. We are waiting for the word that God has laid here. Celebrate the woman of God. Celebrate your mother. I wish my voice was better. I would have taught you better what to do. You can do better to praise God for your mother. Your voice has no strain. Celebrate the Lord. Now give the Holy Ghost a holy clap offering of praise. God bless you. you may be seated in the house of God. Take us through your testimony. Good morning. Morning, Bishop. And morning, everyone. Uh, God is good. <laughs> and all the time. Uh, firstly, I would like to give honor where honor is due. Uh, I'd like to honor my father, Pastor Alf Lukau, and my mother, Bishop Celeste Lukau. And it's a great honor to be here before you people. And thank you for everything. And also, um, my testimony is very sweet and short, so I'll, I won't waste your time. <laughs> so firstly, um, indeed, my father is a prophet and I shall eat. Yes. What takes people 10 years to accomplish, God will make it in You didn't one year. hear that? Repeat that. Repeat <laughs> that. Repeat that. My father is a prophet and I shall eat. And what takes people 10 years to accomplish, he shall make it in one year. Jesus. Amen. Uh, firstly, uh, the first testimony, testimony is uh, on the 15th of, April, uh, 15th of March, 2020, uh, 2023, we were at the JSC uh, with Minister, Minister Lucky. We had an event, and I was the lead production in media. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> and the second... Uh, okay, the media will also show you the pictures. And also the second testimony, our, on the 1st of April... Uh, God is good. God is good. On the 1st of April, <laughs> there. <laughs> on the 1st of April, uh, I came in as, as, as an intern, as a software developer, and by God's grace and mercy, and unprecedented mercy actually, because he qualifies the unqualified. Uh, on the 1st of April, I was promoted from a software developer to a, a digital asset, <laughs> a digital portfolio, no, port sorry, portfolio, <laughs> they don't know what it feels like to be here. Yes. They need a promotion like yes. you. We give you another time. Yes, a portfolio manager in digital assets and platforms. <laughs> Put your hands together. Yes. Put your hands together for Jesus. The man of God has spoken over our youth. You are the forefront. May the Lord keep you, take you higher. Put your hands together for him. I'm just seeing youth, I'm seeing youth. 
Is somebody catching what's happening here? How many of us remember her? Shalom, Pemele. Shalom. Um, a month ago, <laughs> a month ago, while I was writing my exam at school, I got blind. So while I got blind, I wasn't. You got blind while you were writing exam. Yes, Bishop. So while I got blind, I wasn't terrified. I wasn't afraid because I trusted God. I said, God, this is just the devil trying to disturb me. But I prayed while I was writing my exam. I prayed, I prayed, and my teacher came and asked me, why am I praying? I told her that I'm blind, and she didn't trust me at first, but she ended up seeing while I was praying that I'm really serious. And then the whole session, while the other children was writing, I was blind. Then when the session stopped, while the teacher was collecting the exam papers, now I became to see, mm. and I said, this is just the devil. And then the teacher said, I can finish to write my exam. So I trusted God and I thank God that I became to see. And even now I can see. Somebody, you must stand for this one. Do you know what it is to be blind? I don't know. I don't want to know. She said uh, she became blind while writing exam. This is not the first time somebody else had such a testimony. That is an oppression from Satan that wants you to fail and not to succeed. And she began to pray. God hears you when you pray. Keep your miracle. God bless you. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Good morning, sir. God bless you. Uh, good morning, family. My name is Eva Minarsina Mozi. I'm from Ellisbeck in Jimston. And my AMI 12 leader is Pastor Alfred Shirinza. Bless you, sir. We are sorted there. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Clap your hands. Uh, Bishop, I'm very grateful to be standing before the sons and daughters of Jesus. The God of my father is a, a wonderful God. Amen. He is a specialist of impossibilities. Mm, mm, mm. Say that again. The God, the God of our Father is a specialist of impossibilities. When you have an experience, God gives you something that the world... It's like the Israelites, when they were in the desert and trusting God, manna fell from heaven and then they called him the God, the provider. He says with his experience, the God of our Father is a... Specialist of May you get a revelation and experience that you will name your God. Uh, just to give a little background information. Um, I'm a, an educator by profession. So the Department of Education offers bursaries okay. for those that are interested in, interested in furthering their education. So previously I applied and unfortunately, my application was rejected. Mm. I did not lose hope. Uh, sometime last year, I reapplied. Amen. And um, they called me and told me that the application had been approved pending outstanding documents. Mm. And one of the documents that was outstanding was... Um, my ID. Okay. When I went with the ID, they plainly told me that I did not qualify because I was not a, a citizen. Mm. So I asked, what should I do? Then the, the, the lady who was helping me suggested that I can go to the home office. Just look for a letter to say that I have applied for naturalization. Mm. I went there and I asked for that letter, and they said they couldn't give me the letter. So the, the, the officer who was uh, assisting me told me that I just need to apply. I applied. There were quite a number of requirements. Yes. And mo most of them, some of them, they actually took long to be processed. But he just ordered me to go and they pay and they use the receipt as a proof of... Uh, that mm. the process is, yes, is taking place. Begun. I took the receipt, went with it to the Department of Education, 
and they accepted my, my application. They have already mm. paid for the first year studies. Glory and I'm waiting for, for, for this year. I'm very, very happy. Even when they said rejected once, rejected twice, because he's not a citizen, but the God of AMI, the God of your father. Now you have your documents. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Keep it. This year's one will come too. Take us through your testimony. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Greetings, family, in the name of Jesus. My name, <clears throat> my name is Merin Kaleza. I started to come to AMI in 2020. When I came to AMI, I was very bound. Mm. I was so bound that I, I, I didn't want to come out. The, the life that I was living, I was always hiding inside the house because I didn't want people to see me. And because of the, uh, I can say uh, I was broken, of course I was. Broken in, in and out. Mm. Because you, you could see even the appearance, my face, it was very disfigured. And so I connected with AMI on YouTube in 2020 during COVID lockdown. So since that time, it was in 2021 when Papa located me through Zoom and he professed on me. Oh, wow. But instead of me coming, not coming back to say thank you, I could not do that because of the bondage that I was in. Mm. Inside of me, there was a spirit, a, a family spirit that claims that it is a God. So there is no way that I can go out and serve another God. Jesus. So I was bound indeed, mm. really bound. You know, when I was at home, mm. that even going to work, it, it was very difficult because it will speak. There was a voice and there was a voice. The, the spirit of God, is a liar. yes. The, the spirit of God was speaking too and was doing the impartations too. But this one also, it, it, it was a, as if it was a competition. But God came through. Somebody. <laughs> That is why today I'm, I'm able to, I'm not afraid anymore. I was afraid. I was intimidated by everything, you know, everything. Mm. Even. And God set you free. The Lord has set me free. And I thank my father. Of course I do. Yes. I never thought today. I was, I was, I was this type of person born because this is a generational thing. Mm. So in my family, we are type of people who are very stubborn. When we say no, we say no. Even to God, they say no to God. Oh, my God. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. So the power of God through the man of God located you and you receive your deliverance. Yes, I have received my deliverance. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the Lord Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Can we praise the Lord? Take us through your testimony, my sister. Shalom family, my name is Evelyn. Yes. Uh, I'm honored to be the daughter of this house. Glory let to let Jesus. me take you to my testimony very quickly. Last of last month, we were on 40 days of praying and fasting. Mm. Uh, it was Friday, and my husband came back from work, and, and he, he bathed, and after that, he said, I want to go out. And he went to the tavern. When he, on his way back, Two men followed him, the one with a gun, the one with a knife. And he didn't have a phone or a man. Then he said, please give us everything we have. He said, I don't have anything, you can search me. Why do I know these people, if they find you without anything, they will harm you or kill you. But they didn't do anything to him. Jesus. Then I knew that was the divine protection of this old. Somebody give God praise. Your husband was unharmed. Nobody harmed him. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Give the Lord praise. When you see me dance, I'll dance like a winner. When you see me dance, I'll dance like a winner. When you see me dance, I'll dance like a winner. When you see me dance, I'll dance like a winner. Like Can we dance before the Lord?
take us through your testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I would like to take this opportunity to share with you the testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. On the 13th of February this month, I got an accident. I was walking, crossing the road with this child. And I've seen God's hands. Instead of the car hit my, my child, I was the one who was hit head, and my daughter was protected. Hallelujah. Jesus. So nothing happened to my child. I'm the only one that got hit by the car. Hallelujah. So I would like to thank God about that. Hallelujah. He's Glory a faithful God. So Jesus. last week I came here at church. My sister invited me to come and fellowship here. Mm. I was working with crutches. Jesus. So Pastor Shirinja prayed for me. And I then she sa he said, I must stand up and walk. I started to walk. From last week till now, I'm still waiting. Somebody. I give all the glory to God. Yes. Give Jesus. Show this picture. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Do you know what she just said? This is how I looked after the accident. The enemy intended the to kill this child. But now I'm, I'm alive. Oh, I thank God. God. I thank him and I thank God for the speed recovery. There Amen. is men and women of faith under our Father. God bless you. Just show the camera that. This don't undermine it. Just look at it. Put your hands together for Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. You are covered under the blood of Jesus. God bless you. Take us through your testimony. I greet everyone in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Without a waste of time, I just want to thank God for this moment. Hallelujah. My testimony is about my sister-in-law, Sister Agnes from Rubber Ridge. Jesus. By the way, I'm a professional soul winner in the outreach of Somebody! Hey. Uh -huh. I wish it, let it be contagious, contagious jump again. Something needs to be broken here. Yes. Something needs to be broken here. Catch it. Catch it. It's like you are a bunch of old people sitting like this. This is the glory of the Lord. Put your hands together for you. Give us a praise song. Give us a praise song. Wake up. Wake up this atmosphere. You are worthy of my praise. Praise God. Yes. In this house, we don't have to be forced to praise the Lord yes. because God is good in and out of season. It's the reason you woke up this morning. Just because you are here, you are about supposed to praise Him. He died for you, not just for me. I'm excited because I got the revelation. Catch the revelation that He died for you too. Jump and praise the Lord because we give Him praise. We don't cross our legs. We don't sit down. Somebody in the back, get up and jump and give Jesus the praise. Hallelujah. Give Him the praise. Don't wait for my voice. I will praise Him until my voice hits Z. Jesus is there.
the house that I know. Yes, my bishop. She says she's a professional so winner. Imagine. Hey! Hallelujah. This is my sister-in-law from Rubber Ridge. I once invited her son and the little children that are in the house of God this morning. And my sister-in-law was so difficult. For 26 years, I've been going after her to come Jesus, to church. 26 years. She was a very difficult person. Very stubborn, Bazalwan. Hey. Today, I hey, thank Bazalwan. God she is here. Mm -hmm. I invited her. Another yes. soul Hallelujah. in the house of hey, Jesus. Jesus died for her. Indeed, you are professional. Praise the Lord. Last year, November, we went for an outreach in Alexandra. Pastor Shirinza's outreach. Hallelujah. And her children came. She was still stubborn to come. Mm -hmm. Those children, when they came, Bishop, they yes. say, Coco, who's born now? Oh, Pastor Shirinza, we are in Pastor Shirinza was uh, like demonstrating all those Sangoma things and the uh, snap and all those things. And uh, when they went back home, Bishop, they told her, Coco, who's born Because she was also snapping. Mm. But you know, God is so good. When the children came, she felt that spirit in the life of the children. Jesus. When they came and tell her that Gogo next week, Ubuele, see a outreaching. They came with her the following week. I went and fetched her and I encouraged her that whole week. I said, Uyeza, e outreaching, you will come. We went back to Alexandra, she came. She received her deliverance. This woman was very sick. Glory the feet were Jesus. swollen. The sick that were just walking in a tummy. She could not hear properly. She had a lot of difficulties. Every she oppression She got problems in the house. There's an oppression in the house. There was a terrible demon in that house. Mm. And I asked Pastor Sharinza also, please come and help us. Let's go and deliver Jesus. her in the house. She was already delivered. He came the following week. There was a uh, son is doing Satanism. Mm. Every time he was fighting against her and they was telling her, I will kill you and I'll Jesus, stop that. Jesus, but the power of God came but in that house. But the power of God. What in that house. came. We went there and I organized an uh, 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 outreach, a mega outreach. It was on a Thursday. I make sure that I'll win souls and I win souls. The house was full. The time is short. Sorry, Bishop. So that day she received a deliverance. Today, here she is, she's free. In Put the your name hands of together Jesus. for Jesus. This is the reason why Christ died. He died for the world, He died for each and every person. Those who, re who receive Him, they have the privilege to be called the sons and the daughters of God. Can we have two more testimonies because of time? Just take us through your testimony, please. Greetings, greetings, beloved, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'd first of all like to honor the God of my spiritual father, Alf Lukau, and my spiritual mother, Mama Celeste, and the God of my biological father and Jesus. mother, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, this God is too much. Amen. Um, I was, um, during the 40 days of fasting, prayer and fasting, I was trusting and believing wow. God for a number of things. But um, it was a, a different fast because I felt like something was leaving me. It was Thank so you. difficult. But uh, I think um, towards the end of the fast, I received a call from my previous employer uh, where I worked before COVID. And um, they called me to come into the office on a Monday, the 20th of Feb. Mm. I came into the office and uh, I was not even sure what was going to happen with me. But I do know that it's where I worked before COVID, so I was expecting the call, amen? So when I went into work, um, I was instated into sales and marketing, uh, as a sales administrating, a sales coordinating administrator, amen, people of God. Lord, um, it's Jesus. an elevation from where I w uh, uh, the department I was before. Somebody so it's a put promotion. your hands together for amen. Jesus. <laughs> Somebody celebrate Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Keep your job God be as so excellent you as so you much, can Mommy. be. Amen. God bless you. Let us have the last testimony. We'll do the next next week. We'll go quicker through the crowd. Take us through your testimony. Hallelujah. He died for me. And he shed the blood for me. I will not die before my time. Amen. Oh, Jesus. 
Repeat that. Say it again. You will not die before your time. Yes, Bishop Jack. Mm. 2022, I joined Follow Up, but I didn't manage to save because you know the devil. So, Just take us through your testimony. God bless you. Yes. The devil injected me with a severe running stomach. Mm. It was really, really painful. Jesus. I was losing weight. Oh. Mm. Then the pastor Lerato, she decided that I will send you to Pastor David every Sunday. You must go there outside. He will mm. pray for you. I did that. Bishop Jake, every Sunday, Jesus. I'm going there. Every Sunday, I sit behind there. Follow the when they present worship, they are worshiping. I will be crying. Oh, God, mm. what is happening? Because I was losing weight totally. When I eat something, I have to run to the toilet at the same time. Mm. It's a cold drink, it's a water, it's still the same. Then there was another Sunday, she said, I will book you, I, I will speak to Bishop Jake. And then on Tuesday, you're supposed to come to church. I came to church, the devil. I didn't find Bishop Jake. <laughs> hey, the devil is a liar. Why? No, I was really, really angry. Yeah, I mean, because me, me, me I too. know that when I meet Bishop Jackie, uh -huh. that spirit is going to leave me within yeah. two minutes. God is good. Yo, I went back home. Mm. Another Sunday. Where was Bishop Jackie? Where I was know. Bishop Jackie? Why? Huh? Hey. The devil is a liar. Another Sunday. She mm. told me that. I will speak to Pastor Rachel and pa Pastor Dang. Ah, yes, Pastor Dang. I, I forget the name. There shall be a, a, a deliverance. Glory to Jesus. Yeah, when the church, it was. What happened after they prayed for you? What happened? Ah, uh, yay. Now I'm hey. fine. Hey, now you are fine. Say it on the mic. Say hey, it on the mic. I heard you. They didn't hear you. The you are child, fine. I'm fine. No man. running I'm stomach. No running you stomach. eat and it stays in. I eat Somebody everything. celebrate Jesus. Somebody I celebrate know. Jesus. I serve a God who is powerful. Hallelujah. I serve a God who is mighty. Good God, Hallelujah. you can call him a miracle. miracle Papa. I serve a God who is powerful. I serve a God who is mighty. Oh, oh, oh. This God is a good God. Hallelujah. You can call him a miracle. miracle Papa. Yo, 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 yo. Jesus, you are the Lord, you never change, and there is no one like you. Oh, 
tell to you You are the Lord You never change And there is no one like you We cry holy, holy Lord God Almighty And forever you will be my God We cry holy, holy Lord God Almighty And forever I'm devoted to you, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, you never change, change. and there is, there is no, one no one like you, like you. we cry holy, 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 holy. Lord God Almighty, Lord God Almighty. and forever.
and forever you will be my God mm -hmm. Holy, holy, all God Almighty and forever God Almighty, oh God Almighty, and forever you will be, you will be my God. Say it again, holy, 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 holy Lord God, Lord God and forever.
blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. For it was just yeah, was Golgotha for us. Thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary. Jesus. Thank you for saving us. We are grateful. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. We give you honor now and ever. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. He has done it for you. Hallelujah. Oh, hear me today. You will feel the resurrection. I worship. 
It doesn't matter if you're looking at me as one who has worked all night and you're tired. You will fill it by fire, by force. Look at somebody next to you. It's resurrection day. Say, it is resurrection day. It is resurrection day. You will fill it in Jesus' name. I receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. While precious in the Lord, sons and daughters of God, many of you gathering in our branches across the globe, I want to begin by celebrating God for you and honoring your presence in the gathering of the saints. Jesus. In the connection today of this great day of the resurrection and the celebration of the one who is alive forevermore, mm. I want to say shalom to you in France, in Africa, across the globe, in America, in Asia. Shalom, 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 and God bless you. We receive it. I appreciate the fact that some of you, though in different time zones, you're supposed to be sleeping by now, but that you are awake to connect to this awesome moment. May the Lord as serve see you. In the name May God of manifest Jesus. His goodness in your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. You're on Facebook, you're on YouTube, you are on AMI TV. May the Lord our God bless you. May the goodness of Jehovah God manifest in your life. Amen. Precious in the Lord, we have not come because we have nothing else to do. We have come as those who are redeemed. Oh, those who are purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. We know who we are and whose we are. So we have come this morning with our praise, with our worship. We have come to exalt the Savior who lives forevermore. Jesus. He who has conquered the grave. He who has conquered death. Hallelujah. We are here to say there is none like you. Receive all the glory, the praise. Oh, yeah. Now and ever. So I want to welcome those of you who are here. I take a special acknowledgement of those who traveled from different parts of the globe to be here this morning. We love you. United yes. Kingdom, I see you. I see Angola. God bless you. I see the Democratic Republic of Glory Congo. I see Poland. I see Netherlands. I see Lebanon. Yes. I see the United States of America. Yes. God Glory. bless you wherever you come from. I see Switzerland. God bless you. Hallelujah. Shalom to all of you. Tanzania, shalom. Africa, shalom. God is a good God. God. Hallelujah. Yes. If there is something that we ought to do today beyond speaking and saying is in celebrating the one who has made it possible that our names may be written in the book of the Lamb of God. Salvation means you are no longer where the enemy thought he kept to you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in the, salv the salvation of the Lord, we ought to stand healed, transformed, mm. restored, I receive it. blessed, Amen. exalted. I receive it. Hear me. The secret is always in the revelation. Amen. Something cannot be understood by the strength of one's Mind's capacity. Mm -hmm. It has to be revealed. The veil has to be removed. Jesus. That the light may shine so you may know. Amen. I serve the almighty God. I believe. I know it by revelation. And it is my prayer that every child of God across the globe may understand that this is not a, a just, just an ideology, a philosophy. No, this is not a, an adherence to a set line of behavior. We serve the man, Jesus, who died on the cross, exalted us to be Jesus. where God set for us to be. Hallelujah. Now, as a child of God, if you understand by revelation what 
the meaning or the significance of this day is you will pull yourself together because you will know the one who conquered the grave will give you victory in every area it is impossible for you to remain down when Jesus is up. It is impossible for you to remain bound in sickness while by his trust it is said you are healed. Can you expect a miracle? Because I'm praying that it may manifest in your life today. Jesus name. Say today is my day. Today is my day. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will celebrate. I will celebrate. Look at your neighbor and say, it is my party day today. It is my party day today. And say, you are welcome. You are you are inviting him to your party. He will see what God has done for you. He will see how God has exalted you. It is your party day today. Bigger than above the party. Bigger than any other celebration. I will see. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. You see, knowing God leads you to really walking in sincerity with him. You got to know him. And when you know God, you really know God, you really, really know God. You are no longer in contradiction with his perfect will in your life. You do not find it difficult to believe that he is able to do for you now what he say he will do. When you really, really know God, it's like your inner being, your spirit is suddenly easily in alignment with his word. That's why faith is agreeing with God in what he said. Right. You see, what agrees with God is faith when he says, I will heal you. Knowing him leads you in that place where the power of God is not in conflict with you, your being. You absorb all that God is able to do. There is nothing in you that limits God anymore. When you hear God open the eyes of the blind, you get excited. Yes. You are not in conflict. Fusion. You, you get excited because you know that if God has done it for him or her, he will certainly do it for me I in this day. The Bible says that the people that know their God, they shall be strong, they shall do exploits. When, when you know God, you are bold. When you know yes. God, it's no longer tradition. When you know God, it's no longer just routine. Jesus. When you know God, it is tangible. When you know God, yes. it's palpable. When you know God, My it's God. practical. When you know God, you experience Him. When you know God, My it Jesus. is an encounter. When you know God, you you look different. Mm. Mm. Play with anybody. Never play with somebody you know God. Yes. Your end. It will be fatal. Never get acquainted with somebody who knows God and you are so familiar that you start taking him as just anybody. That's right. Your end is miserable. You mm. can never fight somebody who knows God and win. Amen. Hallelujah. You win. They lose. They lose. Somebody say, I know God. I know God. And they will know who I am. And they will know who I and am. And whose I am. And whose I am. Family, wherever you are, as you have gathered together as AMI in our worship branch, I want you to understand God will do what he say he will do. Somebody receive it. You will do it today. Jesus. Well, in the menu, I will present you the word of God today. And the day we will move to giving God the offering and the sacrifice on the altar. This will lead us to have Holy Communion. This is a great day to have Holy Communion. Because the man Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead. And then, 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 we will do what they used to do. They communicate a certain in a certain way, they use the horn to pass a message. And they have been 
significant messages passing to it. Over 72 times it is mentioned, and every time the Bible emphasizes on a particular way they had communicated, they had blown the horn, hear the shuffle. They had done so to call people to the presence of God, to bring them to consecration. When Israel will hear, they will all align. It is no longer time to gossip. It is no longer time to lie. It is no longer time to insult. It is no longer time to pull down. It is no longer time to catch your brother. It is no longer time to destroy your sister. It is time to embrace each other in love. They will understand that this is a time of God. Yes. Every time we saw that they blew the trumpet, the Philistine got panicked. Because you see, it was to send a message that God is coming down for his people. God is coming down for his people. When you hear that, even in a time of difficult battle, when, when you hide, did you hear the sound? Mm. Oh God, we catch this in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. The blue, the horn to announce victory. When the enemy's territory was captured, when the ground was conquered, when the devil was defeated, Amen. they blew the horn and Israel celebrated victory. Jesus. Today, Victory. I said today, today, we will blow victory. Now, this is what you will feel when we'll be blowing it. Something spiritual will happen I will because this it. communication will go beyond your natural ears. God from this altar will be speaking to your inner being. You will feel it inside. I Some of you will feel it. a chill. I you will feel fire. It. Wherever you are online, you are watching alone with your family or alone, inside or outdoor. You. I receive it. Something is about to happen. Jesus. Jesus. Wave with. Jesus. Wave with me. Wave with me. The whole house is working. Jesus, Jesus. We receive it. The whole house is waving. Jesus. With holy Jesus. hands, with holy hands, Hallelujah. with holy hands, Hallelujah. victory, be thou glorified. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Will you take your seat without moving out the, of the atmosphere? May God do for you and for me what only He can do. I receive it. Again, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Greetings to all of us across the globe, those online and those on site. Greetings to the members of the ICs and the bishops. Shalom. Greetings to pastors and ministers and leaders. Jesus. May the Lord in His grace manifest His blessings. I will save it. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to your name. We go through the word of God. First book of Timothy. Chapter 1. Verse 15. Bless your word. Give us light. Through your word. Use my vocal cord to speak your word. 
do us good. May your word heal. In the name of Jesus. It is written, you have sent your word. And your word has healed them. Yes. Bless your word today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus Christ died. And he rose from the dead. A day such as this. Across the globe. We celebrate. His death and resurrection. It is significant because this is our Passover. Passover is God's process of taking his children from captivity to liberty. We cannot speak of Passover or Easter without remembering the transition. There is a change of status. There is a change of address. Now, as you understand it correctly, that which is the purpose of the Passover, the crossing to the other side, despite the unwillingness of the enemy to let it go, God enforcing his will for the deliverance of his people, he begins to manifest in your own personal life. Precious in the Lord, I perceive in God as you come and connect with God and allow the word of the Almighty God to come deep in you that God will transform you. I receive there will be transformation in your life in the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus. The Bible reads that this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Paul adding, of whom I am chief. I am perplexed by the word used to put together what we see and we read as the verse of this book of Timothy. I believe that as I read it again and again, you will begin to understand it. For the wealth in it is hidden in simple, selected, I will say carefully selected word. This is revealing the purpose for even the celebration. The purpose behind the doctrine of our faith. Paul speaking to Timothy. And he said, this is a faithful saying. Some versions say, this is a trustworthy saying. Will you sit down and begin to think of this word? This is not just a saying. There are many sayings out there. Some lead to hell. Some are venomous. Some will destroy you. The serpent spoke. Eve was deceived. Did God really say that if you will eat of the fruit of this tree, you will die? Conversation of evil. Diabolical from hell. Well, God did not say that if you eat of it, or die, say, oh God knows that if you eat of this tree, your eyes will open. There are many saying, but I hear the apostle is pointing to a specific saying. There are sayings that will lead you to discouragement. You were almost married to the right person until you heard some false saying about him. Now you are stuck with You could be in business by now until you heard. You could be here in church today until you heard. 
what makes the devil terrible is that he's a speaking devil. Mm -hmm. He lies. He speaks lies. And when he speaks lies, he speaks from what is inside him. He's a father of all lies. Yes. But my precious in the Lord today, I'm not standing here telling you about some saying. Rumor saying against your brother and against your sister. Poisonous saying. Infected saying. But I'm presenting to you what Paul wrote here. He said, this is not just a saying. This saying is trustworthy. Yes. This saying, I'm not talking about every other saying that uh, you may hear in the corridor of the church. But this saying, I got to understand this saying, it is presented so well. I understand that uh, it will not just be combined together if it was not meaningful. You got to hear what I'm saying because I am repeating what is written. And uh, what is written speaks of this saying. Wherever you are, this saying is critical for your next level. If you embrace this saying today, you will begin to lift yourself up. You will begin to stand up as God wants you to stand. I receive it. This is what the Bible say. This is a faithful saying. A trustworthy saying. A most reliable as honest and truth. It is a reliable saying. It is bankable. Mm -hmm. It is true inside out. Amen. It does not come with any animosity. It is empty of every form of selfishness. It does not have a behind motive to lead to a an illicit desired objective it is not a trick it is a faithful saying and this faithful saying is worthy of all acceptance ladies and gentlemen Jesus. it did not tell us yet what it is it's just preparing us to receive what is saying My goodness. unless you get it well you miss it all mm. Unless you get it well, you miss it all. This is the source. Mm. If you hear wrong, you get it wrong. If the source is polluted, the substance is infected. Jesus. That's why mind who you open your ears yes. to. Mind. Be careful. You see, this is a faithful saying. This is a trustworthy saying. This is the most reliable saying. Jesus. This is a dependable saying. This saying you can take to the bank. This saying will help you. And he said, this saying that is most reliable, this saying that is dependable, this saying that is faithful, this saying that is trustworthy, he said, it is worthy of all acceptance. Jesus. Blandly accept this. Mm. No argument. I receive. No debate. Certain things permits no debate. Right. The supreme word of God cannot be debatable. Mm. When it comes to a preacher, the preacher bows to it. You have said it, I believe it, and so shall it be. Amen. Is it? This word is worthy of all acceptance. Your communion with God is seen on your obedience to his word. 
if you commune with God, you got to be able to obey his word. A man who walks with God is a man who has a relationship of obedience with the word of God. The place of God in your life is a place where the word is prominent in your life. If you have no relationship with the word of God, you have no relationship with God. Right. May I please repeat what we always declare. That in the beginning was a word. The word was with God. And the word was God. You cannot embrace God unless you embrace the word. Because God Amen. is not in conflict with the word. When you begin to accept the word as all yes and amen you will begin to see the god of the word manifest in your life i will see the truth is not a correct report the truth is a person a correct report may be misleading because reality is also based on correct reports but truth and reality are not always the same because you see truth is more than just a correct report Truth is a person. He said, I am the truth. He is a person. And every time you develop a relationship with the word of God, Lord, speak unto me. Your servant will obey. Fala comigo. Par le Seigneur. Oh, well, I just spoke Portuguese and I spoke a bit of French. Did you cut anything? <laughs> Trying to be international. That is the aim I way. Hallelujah. The word of God is final. And here the word says that this is a faithful saying. This is a reliable saying. And this word is worthy of all acceptance to accept is to embrace it inside to agree with it and open for it to manifest he said this word is worthy of all acceptance then he begin to explain to us and we read together it says that Christ Jesus came into the world if I stop there, I understand already that Jesus Christ really came. The coming of Christ is not a makeup of the church. It is scientifically proven. Historian will tell you that. Archaeology will tell you that. That Jesus Christ really came. There are significant evidence of the birth of Jesus Christ. And his presence on earth. Just as the Bible says. To this point there is no contradiction. Whether he came or not. In fact. Those who stand against him say. It's not everything he say he is. Or he was. But he's coming. He's there. This is a faithful saying. that, And worthy of all accepting. That Christ Jesus came. You know because. Christ Jesus came, you are not alone. Jesus, the son of the living God, came. What could be of us if he did not come? Oh Lord. The voice of the Father was heard in heaven. Who shall I send? Who will go for us? And no one, my ancestors could not help me. My grandpa could not help me. My grandma could not help me. But the Bible says, the son of the living God, Jesus Christ stood and said, Here I am. Father, send me. He came. According to the scriptures. Not any scriptures. According to this faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. Christ Jesus came. Are you hearing me, son and daughter of God? Today, is significant and the word is precious 
he came into the world to save sinners. Now, sinners, ladies and gentlemen, are those who have attracted judgment because of the wrongdoings. Sinners are the judged, the sentenced, the wrong. Sinners are those who have missed the point, who have trespasses against God, who have done what is not permitted by the law, the holy law of God. Sinners are people who have missed the point. And because they have missed the point, as per the word of God, the judgment of sin is death. The reward of sin is death. The salary of sin is death. The wage of sin is death. Sinners are those who have no right to stand for anything good. Sinners cannot stand and say, I need to be healed. Somebody heal me. No. Sinners, I have to die in the sin. Die in the pain. Sinners supposed to be on the cross. They're supposed to be crucified. They're supposed to pull all curses on them. Sinners are not taken good. The dirty, stinking, smelling, wrong, judged, sentenced. Sinners cannot sit in front. They're not honorable. Sinners should be hiding at the back. Sinners carry shame, Jesus. dishonor. They attract no respect in them. They have done wrong. They have missed what's supposed not to be missed. But the Bible said this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ, Jesus, came into the world. He came to the world. Oh well, when you are good, you come to those who are good. When you are high, you look for those who are high. You want to measure your social class with those you acquaint with. You want to be with those who look like you, who have what you have. But he did not come to look for those who are righteous. He did not come to look for those who are good. He did not come to look for those who are clean. Cross Jesus came into the world to save Jesus. Sinners. Those rejected by society, those judged by community, they say this is a bad girl. My children do not associate with her. They say she went from abortion to abortion. They say she carries herself as a prostitute. They say he's corrupt to the core. They say he's so insolent, so impolite that we cannot be in the same space with him. But Jesus Christ came oh, Jesus. to this world not to buy cars, but he came to save sinners. Thank you, Jesus. He saved me. I don't know about you. Some of you are clean. You look too clean to associate with sinners. But for all of us, for those of us who know where he picked us up, we are grateful because we know we are not worthy by ourselves to stand before the Lord. But Jesus Christ removed his coat of holiness and wrapped it around us. He cleansed us with his blood and he introduced us in the the holy presence of God the Father he saved us he saved us oh Jesus judge me no more I'm saved Hallelujah. I said judge me no more I, I am, am saved speak heal of me no more I am saved I could not save myself but he saved me I could not help myself but he saved me I could not lift myself up but he saved me I could not do anything for myself but he saved me I don't know if there is three two or three
only people here who can shout, I am saved. I am saved. Jesus. No matter what happened, the day you depart from the joy of your salvation, you miss it all. Salvation is the thing. Jesus. More than anointing. Hallelujah. Salvation. He saved me. I will make heaven because he saved me. I am saved. My qualifications could not save me. He saved me. I am saved. Principalities and powers cannot have hold on me because he saved me. I am saved. The Holy Spirit cannot pull me down anymore because he saved he me. Saved. I am saved. I am is there saved. somebody here who is saved? Who shot? I am saved. I am saved. He saved me. Thank you, Jesus. Paul is not ashamed anymore mm -mm. to really speak of who he really was because. Jesus Christ intervene. He said, the sinners I'm talking about, I am a chief. I have done so many wrongs that I cannot begin to put it together. If you believe that transformation can happen, you are on the right way. If you doubt it, check my life. I was Jesus. lost. Now I'm found. Thank you, Lord. Some of us are not here because when we were children, we spoke, we spoke in tongue. The old English say we speak in tongue. No. They are here criminals. Yes. You may be hiding. Hide no more. For He's we know you are saved. He saved me. Right here. Some used to be ninjas. But he saved us. Oh, he saved us. Somebody holla, he saved me. He saved me. The, 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 this is the joy that we have. I was lost and now I am found. Why? Because Jesus Christ, the son of the saved living God, came me. and he saved me. He saved me. No wizard that can ever play. You know why? Because he saved us. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. If I was still in sin, if my name was not written in the book of the Lamb of God, those diabolical spirits that has been that have been beating my grandpa, my grandma for generation will have a legal right. Jesus. But you see now, He saved me. He saved me. He saved me. The devil Thank can you, do Jesus. me nothing. Because he saved me. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ came to this world with one purpose, one assignment. Not to make money, to build an empire, to physically build the biggest church and have the greatest denomination. His focus was to save the sinners. Thank you, Jesus. Of whom Paul said, I am chief. I have seen prostitutes become evangelists. Glory to Jesus. Thank you for salvation. Thank you, Lord. He is able to turn your story. Somebody receive. He died. Please be seated. Everybody. Jesus. He died and rose again. Thank you, Jesus. If his coming lim was limited to living, 
salvation would have not been possible. But not only that he died, the Bible say, on the third day, he rose from the dead. Thank you, Lord. He rose from the dead. Is there anybody who's feeling the anointing of God right here? Yes. This is what happened in the presence of God when we know that God is there and is at work doing exactly what He said to do. His grace, His power, His anointing is felt. You cannot lose a battle. Cannot. Do you believe that? We are not people. We are not just people. We are supernatural. Thank you, Jesus. He elevated us. He transformed us. He changed us. We are carriers of His presence. Yes. When He met us in Golgotha, he elevated our humanity to his divinity. Thank you, Lord. You, you, if you believe it, it is set and active. If you die sick, you chose to. Say, I will not die. I will not die. When it was said, I will not die, the psalmist made a choice. And he voiced it. That's right. Lift your hands and say, I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. Say, I will live and declare. I will live and declare. The goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. Say, I will make it. I will make it. Say it again. I will make it. I will make it. Because he saved you. You know what it means, my daughter? No more condemnation. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Jesus. I am free. I walk free. I stand free. Free yes. to carry on. Free to progress. Free to do what God said for me. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My dear son, where I am, where you are seated, right at the back with a beautiful tie, white shirt and green suit. Stand up, son. Remain there, remain there. Let him touch you from where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Arababa. Here it is. I rely on his word. Words such as this makes me different. I feed, I eat, I drink such word. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save our flocal. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, when you rely on words like this, on the word of God, it is impossible for you to be pulled down. You will keep on going higher and higher. I believe. You will keep on going higher and I higher. Receive. Who am I talking to? You will keep on going receive. higher and higher. In, In the name, name of Jesus. Now, dear son, 
God is answering you as I see you something good begins to happen Jesus receive it it is best that I pray for him from far because you may be far and wonder I am not physically there can God touch me from where I am to where he is, there is a distance. The same God who is able to see his son, his servant, from far, is able to see and do for you what only he can do. Receive. May a miracle happen to you. I receive. In Jesus' name. Amen. Take it. It's yours. I In receive. Jesus name. Now please stand up, son. Let me see you. May the Lord bless you. Hear me. I see God has called you and your calling is real. And the Lord today is releasing in you something that I will not lift to you. You are burning. Hear this. Hear this. Hear this. Hear this. There are dimensions in the spirit. But as I pray for you, God is saying, he will, through this prayer, lift you. You are about to jump dimensions. Instead of going from one stair to another, he's taking you. Thank you, Jesus. He's giving you a kangaroo. Look at me. Bare basu amase ye bakanta. Son, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? La moli mo azali kotuta. Ikolo ya bani ya Jesus. He got to send because I got to release this word over him. Give him time to digest this. Is there anybody who prays in the Holy Spirit? You pray in tongue? Well, you are praying in tongue. Nato, nete, ta, robo, soto, rebesete, sata, toto, boshete, reke, ta, 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 ta. In this atmosphere, there is salvation. In this atmosphere, the hand of God is at work. I will receive it. In this atmosphere, God is doing what He says He will do. Bring Him up. Hear this. Son, what's your name? Mike, lift yeah. your hand, drop your phone. Leave that, leave that phone. Mike, you are called to serve God, but as I pray for you, God is lifting you. What you see in me will begin to manifest. Your spiritual eyes are opening. God is saying he had called you to serve him. I would want you to structure yourself in the call of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear you, my apostle. Do you understand that God called you? I do understand, apostle. <laughs> now, hear this. If you structure yourself from your personal life to the call and the assignment of God, you will begin to see the promise I say now, because this is a promise, manifest. The pot you will use to cook for must be sane. If the pot has holes, you will have difficulty to have your meal. Keep a good pot. Structure yourself. Live within boundaries. Thank you. Discipline yourself. Thank you. Live a life of sacrifice. Thank you. This world will remember there is a mic. Thank you. Because God is speaking. Receive it. Now, you gotta see me. Thank Try you. to see me. Open Thank your you. eyes. Look Thank at you. me. Look at me. If you see me, say, I see you. I see you, Apostle. Can you see me? I see your boss. Okay, lift your hand. What is about to come to you? You feel like fire is coming. One, two, three. Take it! Take it! See that! Shh. Jesus. 
Bring him up again. Let's see Tare Batela Baba. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. It's working in you. Bring him up. Keep him up. Lababo Soto. Everyone who's hearing. You are here because God is setting you up for something big. This is something spiritual taking place and the same is happening in your life. May you receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Take it. Mike, today, as your father, Leha le baho. I decree and I declare a new anointing in your life. In the name of Jesus. God has made you a fountain. That will come from everywhere and drink from you. Receive it. Bring him up. I am imparting in your life. But I need to remind you, only your character will keep you where your capacity has taken you. Be a man of character. Be a disciplined man. Be an honorable man. And what I freely give you, money cannot buy it. What I give you today, Millions of dollars cannot give it to you. One, two, three. Take it! In Jesus' name. Jesus is Lord. Lift your hand and pray in the Holy Ghost. Rababo Soto Boshia Baba. May the grace of God be with you all. Receive it. May the power of God be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Ziarababo. Hear me. God will bless you. Are you together? Are you a couple? You a couple? Charles. Is that you, Charles? Yes, I'm Charles. You're Charles? Yes, I'm this is your wife. Yes, man, of course. For how long you have been married? Five years. For five years? Yes, man, of course. Glory to Jesus. Kumalo. Yes. Is that you? Name. Is that your surname? Yes, it's my surname. Linda Kumalo. That is your full name? Yes. Linda Kumalo. That's true, Pastor. For five years, you have children together. Do you have children together? Do you have children together? No, we don't have children. You don't have children together? Oh, we have two kids, yes. You have two what? Two kids. You have two kids? Yes. So I say you have kids together? Yes, we have Is it kids better? Too. Yes. Okay, you have kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have kids together, meaning you have two children together? Yes, yes, that's true, Pastor. Now, hear this. As long as you remain together, the blessings of God, as I hear, will keep on increasing. And I say this in context, so it may not look like I'm shooting just in the air. For what I am saying to you, establish and being faithful, worthy of all acceptance, will be the blessing of somebody who's watching across the globe. You, I see you, your hand is good in cooking. That's true. Your hand is good in cooking. Yes. And I'm seeing people coming to eat what you are cooking. I have a shop, Pastor. You have a shop? Yes. 
Glory to Jesus. It's like you cook in that shop. Yes, I'm cooking. It's like a restaurant. Yes, Pastor. All right. Because I see you you cooking. Yeah, I do. And they hear me. Yes, yes. You, you have a lot of talent in you. Yes, Pastor, Pastor. God is blessing you. And I can say, oh, I see your ring now. You are married. Yes, I am. You have a ring. Yes. Show that ring. Don't be jealous, Bishop just says. Jesus. Jesus. Don't be jealous. Uh, all right. Your hand is good. Yes. You have talent. Yes. And you produce it because you're cooking. And you have a shop. You yes, run your own business. Yes, Sultan. Do you know anything about cargo? Cargo. That's where I'm working. That's where I'm working, Minof. You're working in cargo? Yes, yes, Minof. Devon. Jesus. Is that true? Yes, I'm working in Denver. Yeah, you are working in Denver in cargo. Yes. Minof. You have your own shop. But I am seeing interference from outside. This interference I'm seeing is a demand on what you produce from both family. From your yes. side of the family and from your side of the family. Is that correct? That's true, Minuf. Is that true? Yes, yes. What do you mean? Say it. Tell us. It's true. It means what? When what is happening? If you can we, reveal without having a problem. Or the uncle say, hmm, you say that to the pastor. Quickly, quickly, please. My family might be watching, so. Yes. All right, if you cannot say it, you, can you say it? Okay, uh, we have a challenge in a family. It was like uh, every time on month end, they just want to demand from us. He's in something. So, like, we have challenges. Everyone. Like every pulling time from you all the time, yes. it's like okay, you are working because I know you're working, you're producing, you're working, you're producing, mm -hmm. and that this interference if you do not give the thing that you're giving your wife, mm -hmm. and if you do not give the thing that all your money is going to your husband, yes. and that this now is a kind of creating a an atmosphere that is heavy, mm -hmm. but God is saying. You got to defeat that and keep yourself together. Yes, because he brought you together. Yes. Do not fall in the trap of the enemy. Amen. Of uh, opening doors. Mm. Your husband, your wife, your first family. Right? Yes. Build what God has said. Yes. And that you'll keep on going higher. Yes. Hold Amen. hands and lift those hands. Hold Jesus. hands and lift those hands. Hold them. And lift their hands in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes, That's the grace of God. In yes. Jesus' name. Stand up. Stand up Thank again. You, stand up again. Yes. Rama Mama Sita. You see what is happening? Yes. This is happening because God is doing something. Yes. Jesus. Now, again, I am not touching them close because you are watching me and you are far. You got to understand that uh, even when I do not touch you, it's not me. It's not about me. It's yes. about your God. Amen. I did not save you. Thank he you saved Jesus. you. He died on the cross of Calvary and he can use anybody. Yes. He wants you to know. He died. He rose for your victory. Thank you, Jesus. Please stand up. Hold hands again. Stand up. I want to bless you in power for prosperity. You will begin to see things happening. My daughter, what is happening? You, you, you can't, right? What is happening? How are you feeling? T tell me what is happening. See, she's shivering. I'm just, I'm just shaking. I don't know what's happening. You don't know what is happening? Do you know what is happening to Jesus. her? The power of God. The power of God. All right, hold the hand of your, your wife, even though she's seated. Lord, I pray prosperity over them. Bless them, bless them. Bless them, oh God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Sir, I will help you. You are in prison. You are bound. I will help you. When I say you're in prison, you are bound. It's because... 
Oh God. You, you, you are in my proximity. You are too close. You're too close. Jesus. Let, 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 let him. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where, where do you want to go? Jesus. Hey. Jesus. Allow him to go. You want to go where? Hey. Where do you want to go? Sure. My goodness. Hey! She can do I'm here. Hey! The devil is in trouble. Parables. Run to the The world. devil is in trouble. Run to the run. Run to the run. Shene maholo bosete, reta topo shoto, re masete. Jesus, mashere besete. Look at the power, even on my precious daughter, woman of God. This is a pastor in Alleluia Ministries. Pastor Mosen. The power is on her. Thank you, Jesus. My God. So you're running. Something is happening. Bring him now. It's for your own good, sir. Yes. That is a spirit that is manifesting. My God. That's a spirit that is manifesting. Devil is in trouble. Hear me. Mukizi lied to you in KwaZulu Natal. What you are wearing, what he gave you, is what killed your child. It's what destroyed your marriage. And it is what is sleeping with your children, your daughters, and what is attacking you every night. My God. Do you understand? Oh, hold him. The devil is a liar. Shoot. Sure. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Ouch! Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Fire! Jesus. <laughs> Stretch your hand, church, and let us pray. Pray for your own miracle. Connect to what God is doing. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord expose any spirit that is tormenting you in Jesus' name. This is what I say to Pastor. Whatever you saw here running, it's not him. It's a spirit manifesting. Yes. This man in 2005 went to somebody to help him make money. They gave him a belt and a calabash that he's left in, that he left at home. The calabash is right now in Alberton. In Alberton. I'm hearing. Before God, this is the first time I'm seeing him. Mm. He's, they gave him something. This thing they gave him is a belt for money. It worked from 2005 and 2010. From 2010, it killed the child, it chased out the wife, and it's turning into a serpent sleeping with the children. Jesus. Barima solo bosoto. Let them do that, and we'll carry on praying. My Jesus. Your mercy, oh God. Jesus. 
Let's practice. Jesus. Your mercy, oh God. Jesus. Wherever you are, may the grace of God help you out of any form of witchcraft. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Operating directly or indirectly in your life in the name of Jesus. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. This man, Thank you, Jesus. 2005 in KwaZulu Natal, gave him this. And he went there so he may have money. This is a belt to produce money. Sure. The reserve bank. Is it this? Ugly, stinking, smelling skin of I don't know which. Jesus. Aye. A serpent or what? He had to have it since 2005. Aye, My goodness. Hey. 2010, honeymoon finished. Hey. He started hurting him. Because it is only the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds yes. no sorrow. Hallelujah. There you go. Witchcraft will never help you. Never. Witchcraft will never help you. Never. Witchcraft will never help you. Never. If you too have something like this, that they had given it to you, Just know it is a trap. Bring it to the house of God that we may destroy it. Amen. But let me tell you as a man, you saw him run. That's not him. He didn't come to church running, it is a spirit operated. 
Jesus Christ came to set free the captive. Oh. Yes. He came to set him free. He loves you. Thank you. Jesus Jesus. Loves you. Thank you, Father. And I know it is through deception that you fall. You had fallen in things like this. Because I needed money. You needed money. Yeah, and then this thing was making money for me. It was making money for yeah, you. It started blowing in 2010. Then it changed for me. It showed its colors that it's a snake, this thing. My God. All right. In 2010, then you start seeing its true color. It's a snake. Yes, because I was offered to do a certain sacrifice which I refused to offer. I was supposed to bring my kid to their life, then I couldn't do that. Then this thing changed. So you see, there was a good time where you felt like it's working, it's making money for you. <laughs> then 2010, things changed. It showed you its true color. It demanded more sacrifice. Your children had to go. You refused. Then it started hurting you. In 2010, then it took my last kid. Oh, Jesus. This one stole your child. It destroyed your home. That's true. Do, do, do you see how articulate he is? You're speaking well. I know you, you may have said that I wanted money. But there are no shortcuts. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. What is your name, sir? It's Gladwell. Sorry? Gladwell. Gladwell. Gladwell, you have a, such a nice name. You understand that this will not help you, right? This cannot help you. You have seen it. I've seen it because this... it has changed for me. But I can't throw it away because each and every night it comes back. I must wait. My God. Not and it change it, become a woman at night. It they becomes a woman at night. Is. Meaning what? Explain. No. He said that he cannot just throw it away. This is spirit. This is a covenant. And you say that each night it turns into a woman. It becomes my wife because my wife is gone. Oh, my God. Jesus. So every night I was seeing a beautiful woman next to me. It's like last night, that's why I even first, I was there even on Friday, because I can't take it anymore. So I see another sister directed me to come to you. Then on Friday I was here, Hallelujah. I couldn't speak to you. So today she forced me to come. Glory to Jesus. A sister directed you here. And last night you were here, you could not speak to me. I couldn't speak to you. And even today I forced you to come back, because I can't handle this thing anymore. My God. One, two, three. Fire! God said that this thing stole your child's life, destroyed your marriage. Now you say it turns into a beautiful woman every night. It can change. Even if you can wear it now, then you go to a dark place, it will change. <laughs> I know it changed. Once I'm alone, it changed. Did you hear that? He says, meaning that it is active. Even if I wear it now, that I go to a dark place, hey. it will change. Jesus. One, two, three. Fire. One, two, three. Fire. One, two, three. Fire. Hear this. Witchcraft is dangerous. Yes. Witchcraft exists. Right. But for a child of God, it does not have power. I receive it. Because Jesus Christ gave us power. Yes. Today, God is punishing a devil. In the name of Jesus. Whatever beautiful woman, diabolical spirit, coming every night through this thing, somebody had a fire. Fire. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. And at home, there's a twin of this, of course, a small red and a color bush. When I call that red, it goes and steal money and bring it to me. 
So now it doesn't work anymore. That's why I had to come and to throw this thing so away. So the calabash you have at home, when you call on it, it goes to steal money. Yeah, when I call it, there's a small rate which come out. Then you go and steal money. Then in the morning when I wake up, there's money there at the corner. Lord. One, two, three. Fire. One, two, three. Fire. One, two, three. Fire. You see, Jeez. this is why you must understand that life is not a joke. At all. Life, there is more than what your eye sees. That's right. The Bible, Bible speaks of the devil, the devil as a thief. He comes to steal. Some of you, your money has been taken. Jesus. Broke, broke, broke. You work, work, work. You do not know where your money goes. Somebody is calling your money from his bathroom in a calabash and your money is coming. I say fire. Fire. I say fire. 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 In Jesus' name. My God. Now, let me see that woman again. Let me see that spirit again. Hear me. God has anointed us differently. Yes. I promise you. Yes. God has given others abilities to sing. Yeah. Some people are good swimmers. Mm -hmm. They're good for the Olympics. God has given some people intelligence on how to make vehicle. He gave me power in the spiritual realm. Yes. Come on. Receive it. This. Now, here, when you enter into this world, it's no longer about me ever because you know it. You, you, you sit very high, you drive very, a big car, you too, you have this. I'm not a pilot, I don't know how to fly, though I love sitting with pilot and seeing when they fly. That's not my calling. I'm, I'm amazed to see how they take the flight up. But when it comes to things like this. Hey. Oh, yes. It is over for that devil. In the I say it Jesus. is over. It is I say over. it is over. It One, is over. two, three. Fire. Jesus. Jesus. Stretch your hands toward him. I want to ask you one thing. Mm. This thing has no power. Before even I pray. Be, 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 be careful. This thing is dangerous. For who? For who? The devil is a liar. Be careful. You see, this is my cell phone. This one? This is my cell phone. Hey. I call it anything with this. This thing is dangerous. It's powerless. Connected to which network? All network. All There's network. No danger, yeah, it goes yeah. through all network. Fire! Yes! yes! In Jesus' name. Yes! Fire! Fire! Fire. So where is its power now? Mark your boss. Where is its power? You won't sleep today. Ah. Who? You, you won't sleep today. Think again. The devil Think is again. a liar. You lie, devil. We are prophetic. We are We are apostolic. We are Who are we? We are Who are we? We are Who are we? We are This is a house of wonder. Oh, oh, this is a house of miracles. This is a house of miracles. 
The devil is under your feet. Amen. You lies, devil. The devil is under your feet. Now, can you hear its voice? Can you hear that? It's dead. It's dead. I don't have, I don't have any communication now with it. Stretch your hands. Glory to Jesus. Oh God. I pray I break this, but unless Jesus Christ comes inside your heart, I'm listening. The doors still. are open still. Yes. yes. Today I want to give you an opportunity before God and His people gathered here to take a decision to turn your back on all this and to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. I accept. Glory I accept. to Jesus. For if you accept him, he will forgive your sin of witchcraft. He will set you free from the snares of the enemy. Amen. And he will give you a new life. Yes. So, Gladwell, I ask you, before God and his people, do you want to receive Jesus Christ today as your Lord and your Savior? That's why I'm here, my pastor, because this thing wants to kill me. Jesus, best decision. I want you to say with me this simple prayer. Close your eyes. Repeat the word I say, but let them come from your heart. Seeing that you came seeking help. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for bringing me here. Thank you for bringing me here. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Today I take a decision. Today I take a decision to open my heart to you. To open my heart to you. Come inside me. Come inside me. Be my Lord and my Savior. Be my Lord and my Savior. Cleanse me with your blood. Cleanse me with your love. And set me free. And set me free. Write my name. Write my name. In the book of life. In the book of life. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, give me power. Give me power to follow Jesus. To follow Jesus. Say, devil. Devil. From this day. From this day. I am God's property. I am God's property. I command you to live my life. I command you to live my life. I cut any relationship with you. I cut any relationship with I you. I disassociate myself from you. I disassociate myself with you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am free now. I am free Glory. now. Stretch your hands toward him. Free. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The Lord Somebody has begun it. The Lord has done it. Yes. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's the best shortcut this ever. This area, you are blessed. This deliverance that took place is just an awesome thing that has happened for all of you. Thank what you is Lord. your name? What's your name? Yes, what's your name? Zola. 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 Your name is Zola. Okay. Zola. The Lord God in this day, special day, will wipe away tears of your life. I see you. You got married. You paid low bola. And in May 1991, because of his political involvement, 
those days in the ANC, in the time of struggle, he went to buy bread and to get newspaper. He never returned. Jesus. You cry to this day. And when you see other politicians in our time of peace being rewarded, you say, my husband disappeared just like that. My reward, where will it come from? And I see you when you're crying, you're saying, I don't have word for Amanda. Amanda, your daughter. Is that correct? Your time has come. You cried enough in Thank your life. You, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, Zola, yes. your time is now. Thank you, Jesus. Zola. Thank you for Give me your hand. Stand up. Thank you, Jesus. The sacrifice of the loss of your husband is one of the contribution that many of us today are enjoying the peace. The reward is the peace God gives you today. Thank you, Lord. This, this is what the Lord mm. is doing. There are some wounds. Oh, they are just too deep. Mm. Too, too deep. You literally need God. This is just not it. Only my mother, my 76-old mother, she walked out of the house. She never came back either. It's been 12 years. I can understand the disappearance of my fiancé because it was a political temple at that particular time. But I don't understand how a 76-year-old woman who woke out and never be seen again. Jesus. There is a birth certificate, there's an ID, but there's no death certificate. How do you live? How do you carry on? How do I carry on? Oh, Jesus. How, how do I carry on? I can't sleep at night without taking my antidepressant. I can't sleep, I can't go through the day without taking my antidepressant. I can't sleep without taking either Valium. I have to, to either take self-medicating a bottle of wine so I can sleep peacefully. Oh, Come Jesus. on. This is, I, I don't know. Oh, God, I need, I need help. It is well. I need help. It I is want well. my, I need help. I need my mother. I just want to know what happened to her. If only I can get a rib or a finger, a tooth, something, so I can... I don't know what I can do, but just, oh my God. I, I, stretch I your hand, stretch your hand. This, this is, this is pain. <laughs> my God. You heard her. The man who paid Lobola <laughs> left never to return. But the context was clear. He was killed. But the old mother I see her walking with Amanda. The mother, your mother has dementia. Keep on losing a man here and there. And I see, mommy went out. Stretch your hands. Mommy's gone. Mommy's gone. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew it. But where is she? Where is she? 
Where is the body? Where is the body? You carried me for nine months. You did not touch me. I, well, I can't. I couldn't even be there for her in the last few years of her life. Come down. Begin come, come here. Come here. No. What's your name? Your mercy. Oh, oh please come. Come. Jesus. Oh my. God. Stand here. Jesus. Happy pray for her. Her pain is fresh. But Jesus is an expert in healing broken hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Peace I pray, O God. The kind of peace that surpasses all on those standing. Bring peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding. We depend on you, O God. You are in Jesus' name. Give her hope again, O God. Mazik. God will bless you. The 13th of October, Amanda. The 25th of February, Valerie. Those are the two that God, as we pray, the living, it will help you through. What is gone? It is gone. Do you understand? But I failed oh, them also. I failed my kids. Don't worry. It turned around this. The, the last one finished the metric. She got three distinctions. I exhausted every penny going up and down trying to find my mother. I, when I look at her, when I look at my daughter, hmm. oh God, I failed her. She did. So well against everything. I can see everything against all odds. She fought. She fought. Mm. In my life will never be okay. Never. Uh, no, hear never. this. You can't say never Jesus. be okay. There are certain things that are extremely painful oh. that we cannot turn and change. Mm. The passing of Nelson the disappearance of your mom we can only build on what is at hand and if you do not confront the pain of yesterday you will keep on drowning and no wonder whatever you collect you will put on looking here and there i'm sorry to say mommy is gone we deal with this pain we stand with you in this pain but uh, the, the, the reward that God can give you, it's only on your children. If God will speak of your problem in this matter, don't you see that he knows you? If God will talk about Amanda, talk about Valerie, which place you go, do you see it in a shop? I don't want to mention names so they may not feel low, but they are low. They sell you bread. Do they tell you your problem? Are they able to fix your situation? They take your money. They put profits on you. But you come to the house of God. No rain is asked of you. God reveals your hidden pain. Yes. Oh God. And he's able to meet it. Thank you Lord. Not only that. Your daughter. You say. Three distinctions. Under the circumstances, three distinctions. 
God will do something. Yes, he will. And I know as a mother, you want to make sure that she's well, she goes to school. That's what you mean, right? She does not, you have no money for tuition. Is that? I used it. I was, work, I was working, I was working for a good company. And when my mother got lost, I, I, they, they, there was an, uh, a call from the police. They said, there's a go-go in, in Nelspreet Hospital who's saying her name is Emily. So I asked my boss for permission to go and see whether it's my mom. He said no. So I told him, look, it's either your job. I, I can't choose between my job and my family. So I left and I lost, you left my, the job. I lost my job. All this in the search of mommy. Lift that your hands. Now hear this. What you make happen for her, God will make happen for you. Yes. I will help you where I can personally. I'll help you for your child's school. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone else may come also. But hear me. Don't cry like this. Don't, don't cry like this. Jesus. Compassionate. My God. Compassionate Jesus. Hear this. The little I have, we will share so your child may go to school. Yeah? Thank you. After the service, go to the office and there I will give instruction on how I can begin to oh help God. you. Oh my God. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Jesus. But, but hear me. This is the least. What God is doing for you is bigger. Oh. I got this. Oh Lord. Jesus. We stand together. Will you stretch your hands to her? Now, wherever you are, what you make happen for her, God will make happen for you. I can hear the loudness of the voice of her pain. Can you? I can see the magnitude of the monument of her pain. Can you? If we cannot do anything bigger, this one is more effective than any. That you stretch your hand and say a simple God. prayer. Hey. Depression will leave him. In the name of Depression Jesus. will leave her. She will sleep at peace like a baby. In the name hey. of Jesus. No more insomnia. Woo. She'll begin to see light come. But you gotta join us and pray. Yes. Let's pray. My God. Jesus. Jesus. Libro base canta más. Before I forget, come. My God. Hey, era bus. Jesus. Do you know a man called Caleb? Yes, I know. He's my husband. You know a man called Caleb? Yes. When we dealt with witchcraft day, and I uh, picked my daughter Zola. Yes. I saw you. And while seeing you on the profile, the Lord spoke to me rather of Caleb. Yes. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Your hands are good. And you're a strong woman. Yes. You push for work. Yes. You know how to work. Yes. I see you. You're doing hair. Yes, that's how I, what I'm doing. Is that what you're doing? Yes, that's my job. I will bless you in your job. Amen. Welcome to Alleluia Amen. Ministries. Amen. I receive. Thank I you, receive. Jesus. As I bless her for her job, I can. may everything you do be blessed of the Lord. I receive it. But I want to deal with what the Lord showed me first, Caleb. Caleb is under serious demonic attack. 
This is why Caleb is not progressing. When I say it's not progressing, it's because there are, there are people that the devil is afraid of more than others. It's like you want to keep them in the corner. He doesn't want them to move. For six years, I see like a printing company, a printing place. Yes, that's his job. Is that his job? Yes. Did Caleb ever come to this church? No. No. Yes. So there is no way I know him physically. But I know him. Caleb is working, he's trying his best. But he does not know that uh, the things that he's fighting are not visible. And this started from the day of his birth because I'm seeing the 2nd of February, 1983. Yes, that is his birthday. That is his birthday. Yes. The enemy had mocked him. My God. In fact, God is saying, in 2019, when he was with gift and courage in that accident, he's supposed to die. <laughs> yes, yes, an accident. <laughs> it was an accident. Yes. <laughs> My God. You see, the reason why when I do what I do in ministry, I do not permit nonsense is because of how serious this is. Right. As an apostle, I understand the implication of doing what we do. Yes. Don't care if somebody has a different stand. This is too heavy, even for anybody to minister. Mm. Too heavy. It's better to sing. Oh, Lord. It's better to preach. Mm. This is too heavy. I feel it. Hey. Dealing with somebody from far, dealing with this, I feel it. The reason why I stand so disciplined mm. to my best of ability. And I do not permit those flying diabolical stuff next to me. It's because it's too heavy. It's too serious. Did you hear how she cried? My God. What do you say to somebody whose mom is gone? Look at her. She fights. When the accident happened, she took the husband to hospital. It is because of her next to this man, Caleb, I hear Caleb, yes. that this man is still alive today. Yes. My God. Glory <laughs> to Jesus. Meaning this, this is a matter of life or death in the church. Hey. Lift your hand and help me pray. Join me as we pray. An army yes. of God, made of men and women who pray. Now, this is a message to Caleb. God loves him. Amen. And God loves your children. Thank you, Jesus. And God loves you. Amen. Caleb's spirit is strong. That's why he resisted. And the contradiction around him that is pushing things are not manifesting as he wants and as you expect is because Caleb is not fighting what he's seeing. He's fighting things that are, are invisible. They're putting pressure and pushing him back. Yes. I see him even coming, falling again after the, the accident. Yes. He said things are eating him. Yes. Did he say that? Yes, Something. he was even died for 10 to 5 minutes. <laughs> he was what? He was dead. Did you hear that? But I keep on praying. I was praying that day. I was with my daughter. I keep on praying that day. I keep on praying. Mm. Then he wake up. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Hey, 
This means that you brought your husband back to life. You stood as an intercessor and hey. said, no, God, it is not his time. Hey. It must not go. Hey. Caleb, come. Yes. You were with your daughter. Yes, Caleb, come. Yes. Caleb, come. And I he did. came again. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Family, stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. Tell Caleb, he needs to remember the Lord. He must put himself under the blood of the Lamb and connect himself to the altar. And hear me, if possible, tell him I'm inviting him to come to church. Oh, yes. Jesus. Tell him what is happening. Let him come to church. Not because statistically I want one more person. No, because the Lord loves him Amen. and he wants him. Amen. We stretch our hands Thank toward you, her. We pray the blessings of God. That God may bless you and your family. God may bless Jesus. the hands of your work. That you may prosper even more. That Jesus. your husband be under the blood of Jesus. Yes. That there may be peace in your marriage. Yes. That every addiction be destroyed. Yes. That yes. Caleb's yes. may prosper also. Yes. The bondage is broken. Yes. Broken in the name of Jesus. Broken. Jesus. Broken. Broken. Jesus. 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 The devil is a liar. Will you stand up? My God, Jesus, we adore you. We thank you. How many of you experienced the power of God today? Ooh. Lift oh, your hand and say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank, thank you for, for saving me. me. I am saved. I am, I am saved. saved. Now hear this. Growing up in the Lord, I have not seen what I experienced in my ministry. I have not seen the blind eye open in church. Mm. I've never seen that. The lamb walking. I've never seen that. I was burning with the desire of seeing God and knowing that, that there is more. I always wonder how will my life look like if in my early development in spirit spirituality and my work with God, I was exposed Jesus. to even a quarter of what you are seeing. Mm. Mm. Now, seeing this happening in your eyes and still thinking that the devil can get hold of you, mm. I don't know what else to do. Jesus Christ is at work in our midst. He is. Oh, yes. He is. And for this, I will always worship him with my knees. Oh, I will always bow Thank before him. Mm. If this had to do something, it should build in you faith that God loves you. If he is able to do it to him or her, he will certainly do it for you. Yes, Lord. In this Easter, Resurrection Easter. Pull yourself together. Take hold of your miracle. Refuse to be intimidated. Yes. Be motivated. Yes. Press on. Yes. For this year is your year of pressing forward. forward. God is with us. Yes, he is. Did you hear that? I say, God, God is with us. Hallelujah. March in victory. Be and have everything God has said. Amen. Now, if you have your, your envelope, your sacrifice, you have your envelope, your sacrifice, my altar, my life. If you have it, please be seated if you can. Across the globe, you have it. And that those of you in church, you have it. You got to send it to the altar, the altar of the Lord. 
I want you to prepare it because I'll receive it now. This is not just my giving, this is my sacrifice. This is a call to my altar. There are two important things that are, we have to do, or say three important things that we have to do. We give God our sacrifice, my altar, my altar, he is my sacrifice. Then we will have a holy communion, all of us, after which we will blow the shofar. Now, if you have it, we have ushers around. There are thousands of us here. If all of us have to come in front, it will not work. But if you have your sacrifice, I want you to stand up. If you have it, I want you to stand up. Those of you at home, this is the time you can send it. There are many vehicles or platforms online, bank account, different apps. Use them to send it. You can do so now. Your altar is watching and your altar will speak for you. Heavenly Father, we heard what you said. We answer with obedience to the voice of this altar. So Lord, we answer saying, my altar, my altar, here is my sacrifice. Now, bless your sons and your daughters. Bless us all together. May this moment be meaningful in what is ahead of us, in the next step we take, in what we experience next. In Jesus' precious name. Ushers, you may collect it. Don't sit until you give yours. And those who are here in the four, the front rows, you can bring it on the altar. Do that if you can reach the altar, do so. But the rest of us, it's okay to give to the ushers if you can. Bless you. Your hands are blessed. Jehovah, he has seen.
going to break bread now. Hallelujah. Family, wherever you are, in branches, in group, in home cells, it is that time you prepare the Holy Communion element. Can we all be seated to facilitate the distribution of our bread and wine? As soon as you receive it, I see bread and wine being passed. Once you have both your bread and your wine, please, you may stand. In branches, we do the same. And those of you at home, you too do the same. With Holy Communion, we remember the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us. This is covenant. Remain in the spirit of prayer. Once you have both your bread and your wine, please stand.
Resurrection came because he died on the cross of Calvary. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, shed his blood. Today, across the globe, we are celebrating the one who came, who accepted through obedience to become the sacrifice. He died and he rose from the dead. It was his instruction. This same observed by the apostles of yesterday that we observe. Precious in the Lord. Across the globe, sons and daughters of God. The Lord will vindicate you. The Lord is your advocate. The Lord is your shield, is your lawyer, your doctor, your provider, your banker. Jesus. Today, as you break bread, you are justified. Thank you, Jesus. You are strengthened in the covenant of the moment, the season. Jesus. You are deeply connected to the altar. Receiving the overflow that the Lord has set for this time. I receive it. There was a blessing for yesterday. There is one for today. I receive it. You take this bread and have a holy communion with that hope. The night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it. And he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Take and eat. And this do in remembrance of me. As often as you shall eat of it. Lord Jesus, we remember Calvary, the skull. We remember Golgotha, the place. We remember the greatest altar on earth. Where the perfect Lamb of God shed his blood for our freedom as we eat today in communion of you communion with your word set us free bless us show up in jesus name Amen. you may eat In the same manner, after supper, he took the cup and after giving thanks, he said, this is my blood, which he shed for you. Take and drink and this do in remembrance of me as often as you shall drink it. He paid the price for you. As you take and drink this, may he cleanse you inside out. May you have liberty. And may God set your path on the place of victory. Jesus. That you win always. In Jesus' name. You may drink.
Testify. I receive healing you will experience in the name of divine health you will live. I receive many days you will see. I receive it. prosperity comes on you. I receive it. Problems turns to solutions. In the name Questions of Questions to answers. I receive it. I bless you today. I receive it. I bless everything that pertains to you. I receive it. You are blessed of the Lord. I receive Whatever it. pertains to you is blessed in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. 
your homes are blessed in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Your families are blessed in the name of Jesus. I receive it. No more crying in the name of Jesus. I receive. No more suffering in the name of Jesus. I receive. No it. more pain in the name of Jesus. I receive. The resistance to prosperity is broken. In the name your of Jesus. Your ways are open. I receive. You will it. prosper in every thing you do. I receive. From this day forward, you will testify the goodness of God. I receive. I release you to your next level. In the name of Whatever Jesus. Whatever did not work before, may it work now in I Jesus' name. Whatever was hard, may it be easy in, in the, name the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Whatever was locked, may it break open in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. May you march to victory. I May you go higher and higher. In the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. May your wings spread. May in your Jesus wings name. spread. I May you fly higher. In Jesus May you fly name. higher. I will see. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I decree, I declare. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. There shall be a before and after. I From this day forward, you are a new Jesus. man. You are a new woman. I you are it. a new child of God. I Your it. hands are blessed. I receive it. Your hands are blessed. I receive Here it. comes prosperity. In Jesus Whatever name. you touch will turn to gold. I receive What doesn't work in the lives of others is working in your life. I in the name of Jesus. Jesus the name. chains of the enemies are destroyed. I receive The prison doors are broken. I receive You come out of the devil's den with victory. In the name you win, of they lose. They lose. Victory is yours. I receive You win, they lose. They lose. Victory is yours. In Jesus' name. In the name, name of Jesus. Amen. Keep your hands up as we are praying. I'm releasing the blessings of God. I can hear vividly the altar speaking. And he's speaking against evil altar. This altar, the altar of Golgotha, is speaking against the altars of witchcraft. Altar of every diabolical Jesus. spirit holding your family in bondage. Jesus. Every evil altar is catching fire. In Jesus' name, every fire. diabolical altar of stagnation is catching fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is doing something. I hear the voice of the altar. It is like a God is uh, releasing an intercessory spirit to right here this altar. Jesus. Where they say you will never go, you will go. In Jesus' name. What they say you will never have, you will have. I receive it. What they say you will never see, you will see. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 2023, get ready for your marriage. I receive my marriage. 2023, get ready for your baby. I receive it. 2023, get ready for your increase. I receive 2023, get ready for your promotion. I receive 2023, Get ready for your breakthrough. I receive it. 2023, celebration is coming into your house. In the name of Jesus. I see you giving yes. invitations. I Come and celebrate say. with me. Come and see what the Lord has done. In come, the, the Lord has visited Jesus. me. Come, come. I was it is time to rejoice. In Jesus' name. In this year, the Lord is taking you somewhere. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I say, in this year, the Lord is taking you somewhere. The Lord is taking me somewhere. God is taking you out of a complicated situation. In Jesus' name. I say, God is taking you out of a complicated I situation. Receive. I hear from this altar. That God is about to give somebody joy through his children. I your children will bring you joy. If you're a parent, you look at your children Jesus. and look at God and say thank you. Thank you. Oh, God is about to thank do it. Thank you, Jesus. God is about to do it. Thank you, Jesus. He's about to do it. I receive it. Wherever you are, it is time to celebrate God. Jesus. Hey. Glory to Jesus. 
Jesus, your moment of celebration. I am communicating this by the Spirit of God. I receive it. Your ear will hear it. Your inner being will hear yes, it. Jesus. Your inside will react to this. I receive it. God is about to do something. I Are receive you ready? It. Are you ready? I'm ready. This will be the sound of victory. Yes. In the name this will be the Jesus. sound to tell you, move, move, move. Hey, Go Jesus. ahead. Hey. Go on. Hey. This will be that sign that tells you hey. your levels have changed. Thank Look. you, Jesus. Your Look. levels have Look. changed. My level have Are changed. Are you hearing this? At home, are you hearing this? My level has Time changed. to go in and out of the hospital because something is wrong with you. Yes. It's over. It's over. It is over. It's over. As you blow the shuffle of the Lord. Victory. I receive Say, I will say never the same. I believe it. I want us to do something. 
Form a group of two or three people. Hold hands and pray. Pray for one another. The power of God needs to be sealed. Hold somebody. Form a group. Don't just hold hands as a line. No. Form a group. Both your hands should touch somebody. Remando to robo. Form a group of two or three. Or two or three. A group of two or three. Pray. Lato. Rata. Don't pray for yourself. God is doing something corporate. Rise. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Pray. Jehovah Ra Jehovah Shama Jehovah Shalom Jehovah Sabahot Jehovah Roy Jehovah Chikenum Jehovah Ra Jehovah The house is on fire. Easter of power. Easter of glory. Easter of turnaround. Easter of big things. Let Jesus. Yeshua. Who is the Lord? Strong and mighty. Your breakthrough, your breakthrough, your breakthrough, your breakthrough, your breakthrough. Day, your breakthrough, your breakthrough, your breakthrough. Rakata, Rakata. In the Yeshua. Yeshua. Jesus. Lion of Judah. Jesus. I will nurture Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Lion of Judah. Give 
just put your hands on your head. Something extraordinary spiritual has been dropped in this atmosphere. Just take one minute to take it in. It didn't just come for it to pass, receive it. Just take a moment and let your focus be on the Lord. Let your focus be on what you have received. Let your focus be on what the message has been communicated through the chauffeur. Let your focus be on the victory that has been released from the sound of the chauffeur. As the high priest of this house has blown the chauffeur, deliverance has taken place. Healings are taking place. Take a moment just to take it in. Just take it in. Just receive it. Just receive it. This moment will not come again. Easter Sunday will come again. But this moment will not be repeated. Make full use of the spirit. Of the presence of God. Take it in your spirit. Speak it over your children. Release it to your homes. Never the same again. Good news is coming your way. Celebrations, the man of God is coming to your home. Take it in. Don't just say amen and go. No, receive it. Where you are online, receive it. Just receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for doing what you said you would do. You are God who make a promise and fulfill his promise. You are God who can never lie. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you. Thank you for our freedom. Thank you, O oh God, for our deliverance. Thank you for our redemption. Thank you, Lord, for what you've communicated today. Never will our lives be open the same. Our ways indeed are open. That where we struggled yesterday, we struggle no more today. I bless your Monday. I receive it. Under the supreme anointing of our Father, I bless your Monday. I receive it. I say I bless your Monday. I receive it. From the outer where the chauffeur was blown, blown, this holy ground, I bless your Tuesday. I receive it. The atmosphere is not like last week, so receive the blessings of Wednesday. Receive the blessings of Thursday. Your Friday is blessed. Your Saturday is blessed. Take this atmosphere with you. Wherever you go this week, Christ is with you. Breakthrough is with you. Amen. Deliverance is with you. Amen. Open doors is with you. Miracle signs and wonders are with you. Good news landing in your home will be passed on is with you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. Amen. Remain for the third service. Those connected and those here remain for the third service as the men of God will come and conclude what God wants to do. God bless you. Shalom. Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMI TV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.